knocked away. Loose puck still in the high slot. Poked away by Lusiak, who tries to carry the other way and he will. Possible on man rush for the Warriors. It's Lusiak down the left side. In front. Karan scores! The West Kelowna Warriors are back in action this weekend following four games last week. Two of the BCHL showcase to begin the week and then two to end the week off in Wenatchee last Friday night where the Warriors earned a 3-1 victory over the Wild south of the border. Saturday night, West Kelowna welcomed the undefeated Surrey Eagles and the Warriors handed them their first loss of the season, picking up a 4-2 victory. With a difficult stretch of four games in six days for this team, Warriors assistant general manager and assistant coach Eric Nickel happy with what he's seen from his team and the resiliency he saw from his group. Four games in six days with three on the road is uh, never easy. So, you know, the guys have showed some resilience and we're starting to, you know, Figured out as a team, starting to play closer to 60 minutes, so it's good to see. The Warriors had some exciting news to announce over the course of the week as defenseman Isaiah Norlin committed to Clarkson University. The second-year Warrior defenseman has posted a pair of goals and six assists for eight points so far this season and is the 11th Warrior to earn an NCAA Division I commitment. He really did things the right way. He was patient, especially through his first year, you know, wasn't getting the ice that maybe he wanted. Um, he stayed patient, stayed with it, had a really big summer, uh, worked hard off the ice, continues to work hard on and off the ice. And, uh, you know, there's not many, two, not many more kids that are that deserving. Obviously, it's a big weight off my shoulders and I'm excited. So basically, I just had a Zoom call with them. They kind of showed me around like the program and I thought it would be a great fit for me. So yeah, I'm happy. Two big games against two interior division rivals this weekend as the Warriors welcome the Penticton Vs on Friday and the Salmon Arm Silverbacks on Saturday. As Warriors forward Luke Devlin explains, pretty easy games to get up for. Should be a really good weekend. Penticton, obviously that's our only regulation loss so far, so um, I think everyone's going to be up for that game. And then Salmon Arm, we haven't actually gotten the chance to play yet, so I think you know everyone wants to make a good first impression on them so i think both games are definitely going to be uh fast paced and the boys are going to want two wins friday night's game against penticton will feature the top two power play teams in the bc hockey league luke devlin goes through what's made the warriors power play so successful through 11 games of the season um i'd have to say our trust with one another i think we uh we kind of know where we're going to be on the ice we do a really good job practicing it uh you know during the week of practice so um, I think we've just, as years been on, uh, as years gone on, you know, uh, we've been able to draw a lot of penalties, which has been great. And then, uh, because of that and the practice that we're able to do, I think we've really built up a lot of trust with each other on both units, and I think that's what's been making it uh, work so well. As big of a game as it is against the undefeated V's on Friday night, Saturday's game against Salmon Arm poses similar threats. Salmon Arm's like Penn; they, they got a lot of depth, they got a lot of good players. We just have to play our game and do what we've been working on. Really, the same thing. Friday night is the second time the Warriors will host the Penticton Vs this season. It's also the Warriors Bikes for Tots night presented by Smith Creek Cycle and Elevations Outdoors. Fans are encouraged to bring a bike for donation and as a thank you for that we'll receive a complimentary game ticket for Friday. The 50-50 proceeds from Friday night will be going towards the donation of more bikes and the repairs of the donated bikes that will go to families in need. That is coming courtesy of Elevations outdoors. Saturday night, the Warriors host the Salmon Arm Silverbacks in the first time that the two teams will see each other this season. It is Halloween night at Royal LePage Place, so fans are encouraged to dress up in their best Halloween costumes and a chance to win some great prizes.